tech. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, with the controls on an espresso machine like this? No, ours was totally different. Totally different. Totally. Different. Totally. Are totally. you a Valley girl totally. now? Totally. Totally. Okay. I am. We're gonna go. We already went over the drip tray. Here's the platform. Do you know why you have this platform here to make espresso? Uh, I don't, except maybe it doesn't have to go as far to the. Cup. Bingo. Thank you. Winner. 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 Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, and, thank uh, and, you. And, and why is because the less the espresso drops. The less heat you lose. The less heat you lose, also the less breakup of the crema oh, into the, the crema, cup. Right? And let me just get this cup in here, this tall one, just to reiterate. Look how I can do an espresso shot right into a really, really tall cup. That's it. Now it's really now, like... Uh, now we're talking business. Yeah, that's it. I and can sell and to just the so you know, this coffee from Michelle Doro is roasted in Sicily. It's actually a very good tasting espresso. Well, I mean, then we're just going to have to take some of that home, too. Uh, absolutely. So let's get this back in here. Let's go over it quickly on the machine. So you have your uh, LCC, which we'll get to in a minute, your power button. You have your steam insulated wand. You have your control. And another really, really important thing is these valves are uh, non-compression. What non-compression means is you don't want to tighten them till the knob stops. I want you to feel, feel, see how loose it is here? Feel that, don't, don't turn it. So you're not turning it tight till it stops. You're turning it till the steam or hot water stops. So, so now try, so, try. So you're on, adjusting and never. Right, you're not tighten. opening it, but now I want you to open and feel the tension in. He, oh, yeah, okay, so, that so one, go, right. go ahead and open it. Turn this way slowly, no that way until the steam starts coming out. Do you feel the tension? Yeah. Okay, now you feel no tension? Right. You turn it till you have no tension, okay, in the, in the rotating of the knobs. Okay. This will make the knobs and, or the gaskets last longer. If you tighten this to where the point that it's, the knob stops, your gaskets will wear faster. So it's really important just to turn on Turn it a little bit past it, and the knobs are still loose like this. There's no tension. I'll remember that, because when I drive, he screams when I turn the wheel all the way. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I know. I'm awful. <laughs> I almost got hit on the way here, because I drive so and well. And do you know what this is called? Uh, the group head. The group head, yeah. yeah. Before the... Thank you. <laughs> Here's your activation lever uh, to start. It hits a little switch back here. All the things I could say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm hits a little switch that activates the pump at the same time it's it's moving these cams inside the valve in here when you lift this up okay so we have a, a partial open see you hear the pump engaged mm -hmm. okay hear how quiet the machine and I is see the pump and you see the pump pressure here do. okay it's set at about 11 bar and this is your steam pressure which is about a little under 1.5 so bring this down now, if you have no coffee in here, or you have very little resistance from the coffee grinds and the tamping, right. this gauge will not move up that high. Right now, it didn't even move up past zero because there's no resistance to read. Right. Okay, let's get to this side real quick on the gauge. So, uh, not on the gauge, I'm sorry, the LCC. Mm -hmm. So, it's heating right there. In here, you can you hit this button right here on the left-hand side, and I'll hit it again because it came off the menu. I can change the temperature in Celsius. Okay, so I can change that there. Here is your uh, st steam temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the little picture of the steam. So here's, we're back to the coffee side. I'm going to go in there. Oh, let me go. This is to go down the menu. Okay, let me get back. Celsius. Here, Here I want to change Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So nice. we can change to Fahrenheit. It's good and after a couple I can't of seconds. Do math. Uh -huh. In a couple seconds, it you have to work kind of quickly, but in a few seconds, it will go back um, to the main 12, menu. So we're boiling. at 212. I'm going to change this. 204 is a good temperature that I like, but coffee, uh, espresso coffee can be uh, made between 194 and 204. Some customers actually go a little higher. It's what comes down to best taste for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have that there. Profile of your 257. Coffee. Okay. Now, what's on this machine, if you want maximum steam power, you can go to 266. Okay. That's pretty powerful steam. A lot of capacity, a lot of power in there. Especially if you're doing larger volumes, put it to the max. Okay. Go back down the menu, 266. Here you can turn your steam boiler on and off. We're leaving it on. Here's Fahrenheit. 
And here you can do pre-infusion. You know what pre-infusion is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where the pump turns on, wets the coffee, right. and you can program how many seconds on, how many seconds off for pre-infusion. Do you need to do that though if you have... Really good question because you can do pre-infusion with, the, with yes. the paddle. Yeah. Okay, so you can set it here with full open or you can do pre-infusion with the paddle here. Really good question. I thought you didn't know anything about espresso machines. I know machines. a little bit. I'm okay. A, I'm an idiot, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> here you could program to have the machine. This is not a timer on and off for programming. This is, you could say, to have the machine go into like a, a sleep mode after 150, and then you have basically you have to like, 150 cups of no 100, so 100, who's going into sleep mode? 100, Nobody. 100, 150 minutes up to about 300. Gotcha. Uh, actually, no, even higher. Now 540. Okay, so that's the max. So you could say go into sleep mode, which keeps the coffee boiler pa uh, heated. I think it's like 70 percent, and the steam boiler basically turns off. I don't know the exact programming yet. Have to look at the manual. So wait. So the what turns off? It, ba it doesn't turn off the machine, it basically gets it into sleep mode. It still stays warm, so it, it takes, in Europe with the 220 volts, it heats back up in 10 minutes. In the U.S., it's 20 to 25 minutes with the 110 volts. Oh, okay. But you can put a timer on the machine to turn it on and off whenever you like. Now, again, we have to go back down the menu because you have to move quickly. Uh, so 540, and then here's I your... I saw moon. Was that night uh, when you drink coffee at night? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Here's your shot counter. See, now you made me lose my spot again. <laughs> So, so far, one and three, and we're back to 204, okay? So right. that's pretty much uh, the controls on the machine. Up here, again, your brew pressure gauge. Right. You have your pump pressure here, mm -hmm. and you could change your pump pressure underneath, but the Lelite wants 11 because the overpressure valve. If you get too much pressure in the system, it opens at 12. Some customers can max it out at 12 if they like, but Lelite wants to set them at 11. And then this is your pressure. So at this is the pump pressure is on the bottom, and then the steam is on the top. So what the both? steam, right? Okay. So at, when I hit it to 266, it probably went up a little bit. Uh, for here, this is the pressure that's at the group head. So this 11 is not going to show 11 here all the time. All right. So we're going to let's take the porta filter off. Number one rule on espresso machines. Yeah. Feel how hot that is. Can you keep your hand cradled on there? I would have no desire to do that. I Me mean, neither. But this is the test that you know your porta filter is nice and hot and right. your group head's nice and hot. Right. Gotcha. Let's go transfer over to our first line grinder. We're gonna grind some espresso. Coffee beans. Now, do you see like the clumps in there? Mm-hmm. So customers every once in a while say, oh, the grinder clumps, it makes clumping. Well, what are you doing when you're tamping? You're clumping it all down. You're clumping it all down. <laughs> so it's nice to have no clumping, but it doesn't really always affect the shot. Uh, unless you're doing a very light tamp or no tamping at all, then you don't want clumping. But if you're going to do a nice 30 pounds. <coughs> so we used to talk about this all the time, too. How do you know when you have the talk right to amount? Talk my to husband, my, my lovely husband. He, he talks to you? Well, I talk to him, he listens, <laughs> pretends he's listening. All right, so what's the question? Uh, how do you know when you have the right amount? I eyeball it. That's the answer, you eyeball it. So there what I know. do is I overfill, okay. I tamp, or, or I hit, hit the porta filter, gotcha. and then I like to go straight across without pushing down, go to straight across with my index, and then anything excess, I will usually just wipe off, okay? So I'm pretty close, a little gap there, a little bit there. Okay, so I'll bring it back to this side with the tamper. You wanna keep the lips clean, okay? No lipstick on the lips. Always. <laughs> Grabbing the tamper, do you know how to grab the tamper? I know how to grab a lot of <laughs> things. It's one thing I can do. So you see my two fingers here? They're mm -hmm. on opposite sides, 180 degrees. I basically keep them here, and what I like to do is, on a 90 degree angle on my elbow, this being level, again, the other porta filter is gonna level out nicely for you. I like to push down, and then a little polish, tap, push down, and like this, I kind of feel that I'm not tamping on an angle this way or this way. I like to make sure that it's level. Now, a nice thing inside here, you see that line? I do. So I see I'm a little below the line mm -hmm. he, uh, here, and I'm a little on the line there, so I can even it out a little bit. 
And which should you be above or below it, or you can be it? above or below? Not above, but you should be at the line or below. Because if you're above, you're not gonna, might not be able to lock the porta filter filter handle into the gotcha. into the group head. So let me lock this into place. Did you bring cups? No, you said you had cups. Oh, I did. All right, let you me. You said get you some, were going to charge me for them, but you said cups. you had cups. Now, if your cups are cold, can you keep your hand around the cup? Yeah, very cold. Yeah, very cold. A quick preheat with the hot water. Okay. Oh, by the way, for people that don't know, this is for water. <laughs> <laughs> Never got there. Go ahead. <laughs> we want to preheat the cup because if the cup's cold, it's going to break up the crema faster. So pour that out. Now, another good idea with the machine is you do want to take out about four ounces of hot water out of the hot water wand so you refresh the water that's in the steam boiler. So it's a good idea to oh, take four okay. cups. So it's a good idea to, you know what, take some water, preheat your cups. You can keep them up here for about two hours, then they'll heat. It takes about two hours for the ceramic to heat. Let's put that in but there. You're saying even if you do that, take a little water. Right. So uh, one of the mistakes uh, that we've already made, we've had the portafilter in here with the ground coffee too long. Heating up. Heating up, yes. So lever to the left. Again, if you want to play with pre-infusion, you go to the, uh, to the left, lever to the right. I'm sorry. We lift up the lever. Gotta and find the see, sweet spot. You'll see the gauge going up now. Okay. Look at this. First try. I didn't even dial in the grinder. We're at around 10 bar. And we're going to start bringing it down. There's your shot climber at 8 seconds. And now we're about 2 bar of pressure. And we're going down, 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 down. And I'm going to stop at 26. See the crema? No blonding. Mm -hmm. Little bit of bubbles there, but looks really really good you drink straight espresso i do you want to try it very caramely looking very nice that coffee was 30 days old it's good <laughs> i like old coffee you like old coffee i don't like old coffee no Okay, nice even dispersion, no channeling. Channeling means like if you tamped off center, a lot of water go through the through the path of least resistance. You have to remember this puck is resistance for the water to get through. Right. You don't want to use distilled water on this machine. You don't want to use purified because you don't have no minerals. The, some of the good minerals in the water is actually what's creating and pulling the oils out of the coffee grinds. So that's where you're going to get your best espresso. Magnesium and calcium, no nos. Other minerals are, are a yes. So no purified water, bottled water that has no magnesium and calcium is good, uh, but you do have to have some minerals uh, in the water to make a good espresso shot. And the creme is actually still lasting, yeah, which is, is pretty good. And you also, I know the problem I had was also knowing how fine to grind that. Mm -hmm. I, I'd make these and they'd be like water, just like Right, so puddles. I'm gonna give you a little coffee grind. This is a little uh, secret. Uh, I want you to grab in, on your finger, okay, and I want you to rub, okay. You feel the, do you feel the, uh, the grittiness? Mm -hmm. That's where you want to be at, okay. That's that's which is not real gritty. It's more yeah, it's powdery but, gritty. Powdery gritty, right? But that's where you want to kind of be at mm -hmm. when you're grinding coffee. Now you do have to have a good quality grinder. And I speaking to your husband, I know that you have a Maser Mini, which works well with this machine. And it's, it's not only the greediness, but if you feel, it's also the consistency of the grind. You don't have some big speckles and little speckles. It's very consistent. And that's, if you have inconsistent grind, you'll find channeling going on. And also, the, po the, the reason for the bottomless or the naked portafilter is so you can watch the pour where it's coming out from. If you see a lot coming out from one side, it means that that side may have some channeling going on. So that's what the bottom is really uh, good about. Now, the downside to the bottomless is after about a month, a piece of coffee grind, a little piece, gets into the hole and squirts coffee sideways. Ah. So it, it's, it, there's pluses and minuses to the bottomless no. as opposed to the other that's filter handle. That's what cleaning's all about. Right. So on this double basket uh, or uh, double spout, the pour comes forward into the cup, and gotcha. you can also fit the cup underneath to mm -hmm. get the pour. 
You don't have the pour going sideways, but you have the pour coming towards you to the front so you can watch the pour. Another, again, not only from a balancing perspective for level tamping, but also the pour coming forward. I mean, this is amazing what they've done with the, with the porter filter. So now we're gonna steam some milk or froth some milk. All right. All right, so mm -hmm. typically you want a nice ice cold pitcher. And it Doesn't is. Doesn't have to, but it is, you know, keep it uh, refrigerated. Uh, the milk on the pitcher should be about one third to one half full. Gotcha. Okay, now there are a lot of different techniques uh, for steaming and frothing milk. Uh, whatever technique works for you is best. Okay, so we may go over technique right now that several people may disagree with and some people may learn from to improve their technique. At the end of the day, it takes practice in what works for you. Yes, I was very hit or miss. You were? Yeah. Your husband told me that too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you want me to tell you about his hit or miss? <laughs> so a good idea is to bleed for bleeding the steam wand because what happens is water condensates inside the pipe. So we want to bleed it out. Okay. Take the wand. Now I like to go on a tilt. If you see, there's some good velocity. That's occurring. Mm -hmm. As the milk is rising, I'm lowering the pitcher. And I like to keep my hand on the bottom. Now I am getting some big bubbles. Now I, some people like to nose dive towards the end. Okay. But that swishing sound that you heard right there, that nice swish, swishing sound, mm -hmm. is what you want. And now for me, when it gets too hot to the touch, that's my gauge. I don't use a thermometer. Now there are some big bubbles there. I am steaming from the back of the machine. But if you get some big bubbles, you want to knock them out. And this is not my best performance here because, again, from the back, it's a little hard. I am not a latte artist. Got your espresso. You're right, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's my leaf. <laughs> I would say that uh, smash ace of spades. It's, <laughs> it's the loser in the poker game of life right there. Yes, that is, like I said, I admit, when it comes to design of machines, when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the, the technical perspective, that's my forte. <laughs> When it comes hey, to latte I art, used to I used to take the thermometer thing and I would draw. So you would you, draw. Yeah, I would draw my little yeah, I can't even do because that. I, could, oh. I can't even do yeah. that. I, I was good at so that. So there's your cappuccino. You can Lovely. make lattes. Um, so when you have guests over, see? you know, and you're and basically you go back to back on espresso, steaming milk. If you're entertaining, you know, 10, 20 people, this machine can handle that, it. That's exactly what we do. Yeah. We used to have people over, and as soon as they saw the machine, they would line up right. for cappuccinos. Right. And yeah, and this machine could definitely handle it. Again, uh, you can move the water tank, so if you want to put it on this side or this side, if you have cupboards on top and you can't access the back, move it to the side, and you could fill or pull the tank out from the right. side. Right. After steaming the milk, you want to purge, because sometimes milk can vacuum up into the... Now, we talked about vacuuming the steam boiler, but yeah. you can also get... Um, milk that vacuums up into the pipe so you do want to purge and then just a cloth even the elite cloth if you want or a terry cloth just to with water just to wipe down uh the the steam wand tip and the pipe here but not hard water but not hard water correct all right see it's not that hard <laughs> not the water i mean figuring out the operation so sheila we've gone over the entire machine do you have any questions or concerns or anything about the the miss bianca you know, maybe there might be a little jealousy with the husband going it, it on. It could be. You know, is I mean, that a concern? Why is this a female machine, considering, <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> but any questions, any concerns? Uh, you know what? You did, a, you did a pretty thorough job. Oh, I thank just, you very much. It, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I, the only thing I think that is going to be a little bit of a trying to figure it all out is getting the pressure right, mm -hmm. turning that valve properly and bringing it back. And because these two have to go in concert. Right. That's the right. only thing that I would work on and for me. Remember we said back flushing before, right. the back flush disc? Right. When you're back flushing, this should be all the way to, to, the, to the right. Left. Right. And yeah, if you can't remember, there's little symbols. Oh yeah. That are kind of like subdued. I was blinded by the shininess. I couldn't <laughs> see the symbols. But any other questions? No, I think it's, I well, think we're gonna have so much fun with this. If our audience has any. And it's any, gonna make delicious, obviously, 
mine would be a little cappuccinos, more cappuccinos lattes but. if our audience has any questions they can actually ask at the bottom of our youtube video or they can call me or or the other option is if you go to the bianca webpage just to let you know there's a q a tab and you can ask your questions right on the bianca page and ah. we typically answer within 24 hours typically depending on the volume of so don't do it while in. people are at the party waiting for a cappuccino right do exactly. it before the party do it, before do it the, the day party. before the party so that's another area and then also Good. just uh, send us an email if you have any questions on usage any concerns anything you can you have a couple right. avenues youtube and the uh, email address is sales at 1st-line.com got that so it's, uh, you can also use the contact inquiry form on our website. That will also come into us with any questions. Uh, you can put the machine on a timer because I talked to your husband. Yeah. Now, if you do put the machine on a timer, it's really important, any espresso machine, to power protect it. Um, uh, surge any protector. type of a surge suppressor. Right. The magic number is 1080 joules or higher. That's the mag uh, That's magic. That's what I keep telling my husband. 1080 joules. And I've got none. You got none? I have. Got my $5 uh -oh. ring. <laughs> I'll have to talk to him about that. I know. He, he just spent a boatload Look, on his machine. Diamonds and plastic. Yes. He just spent a boatload. Oh, yeah, he did. Well, yeah. there's my diamonds. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to wear this on a chain around my neck. It's the only way I can show off the money. <laughs> Again, if anybody has any questions, ask at the bottom of our uh, YouTube channel or the Q&A tab. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video. We thank Sheila for being a part of it. She is now taking home a, a, a beautiful. I'm taking Bianca home a used pod machine. of coffee because I want to take it home for a memory. <laughs> thank you for watching and have a great day. See ya.